How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another streaming discussion video. Today I wanted to share with you a tool that can help you upcoming streamers get discovered over on Twitch. Now again, it is a tool. It's not a guarantee that it will 100% work. So do keep that in mind. But before I get into everything in today's video, I do want to talk about today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Owned.Pro. If you are using OBS Studio as your streaming encoder, I really recommend you guys going and installing this plugin. There's going to be a link in the video description below for you to be directed to the Owned.Pro website here where you'll be able to have access to alerts, chatbots, you'll have uh, royalty free music that they have added into there so that way you can have music playing on stream and you can have professional looking overlays that are fully customizable. So definitely go ahead, take a look at it. And if you're wanting to use the plugin and have full access to everything, then use the promo code Creovox at the very end. That way you can save 50% off of any membership that you choose, whether it's for a month or for a whole year. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in today's video to help you guys get discovered over on Twitch. All right, so as I was saying, you know, it's really difficult to get discovered over on Twitch. So hopefully what I'm about to show you is going to help you guys out a lot. I've used this in the past and they've revamped some of the stuff on here. So it's a good refresher. So let's go ahead and transition over to the PC. That way you can see what I'm also seeing. All right, so the tool that I want to bring to your guys attention is Twitch Strike. Now I've used this myself and I've also talked about it in a previous video before, but they seem to be making some changes and it looks like they still are making some other changes. Um, but I still wanted to bring it to your attention that way you guys can use it today. Now, if you do hear any barking or anything, it's just the dogs. I do apologize if you get in the video, they're downstairs, but their barks seem to travel pretty far. <laughs> but what you're going to want to do is go over here to guides and you're going to go to what to stream on Twitch. And you're going to want to choose the language of your stream and the average of viewers that you get for your stream. Now, if you don't get five, I say leave it at five. That way it's a milestone to work towards. If you get more than five or you're trying to get more than five, then set it to whatever you want to set it to. Then go ahead and generate the report. And then it's going to give you this long list of games to choose from. Now, one of the newer things that they have added besides that filter there was this information here. So this right here on the right hand side in, in the purple circles and everything, this will indicate streamers and their viewers that they're getting. So the first one has 125, second one has 32, 25, 25, so on and so forth. So you would have 16 channels above you, which means you would be the 17th channel in that directory for Black Ops 3. And then you would have 106 other channels underneath you. Now in the more info, this stuff is going to change. So if we go here to the update, as you can see, this stuff's already been added in there, but this is what the new one's going to look like. But the information that you have today, as of this video, this right here is the heat maps. I love the heat maps. This is great. So this up here is just a comparison between popular times and dates and showing you the channels versus like the viewers and ratios and stuff like that. The heat map down here is what you would want to use to be able to strategically choose a time for you to be able to stream those games. So for example, when it comes to the ratio heat map, you're going to have 116 channels, 490 viewers within that directory. And then each channel averages about four of the viewers that makes up the 490 viewers darker the color in the heat map is better darker in channel heat map is not because that means you have more competition that you have to fight for so like for example this has a hundred and thirty nine channels it's only got an average viewer ratio of three but with a viewer heat map this one 116 channels 490 viewers in the directory and an average of four so these two kind of combat each other but the ratio heat map is where you want to probably spend more of your attention to that way you can try to take up most of the viewers on average for the game that you're streaming 
but let's go ahead and actually go over to the black ops 3 directory which i have right here and i'm going to refresh it and the top person has 51 so this isn't going to always be 100 percent accurate it says 125 so still go to the directory see what the actual competition is and if you're averaging say five viewers then you're going to be around this mark here so it did say around the 17th mark so you got 6 12 18 so you'd be about right here so you'd be within this row here so if you can even push yourself past five you're in the first two rows and that's always important so that is pretty much twitch strike in a long extended way but it is a really good tool to use to kind of get an idea of what you should stream and what your kind of competition is and using the heat maps really does help and like i said i didn't know that they were still updating stuff but i'll go ahead and i'll keep an eye on it and see how else that new update is going to help but if you have any questions about twitch strike if you use it if you have any feedback for anyone who does plan to use it let's all talk about it in the comment section below but Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, all that fun stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.